Norma Holt from Altrincham in Cheshire, Robin O'Donoghue from Bristol, Brian Kenyon from Radcliffe in Manchester, Ralph Locke from Dolgadie in County Down, Martin Hopkins from Newcastle upon Tyne, Jonathan Coles from Islington in London, Sev Lefkovich from Arundel in West Sussex, Trevor Wood from Wakefield in West Yorkshire, Julie Peacock from South Cave in East Yorkshire, Graham Sacre from Southampton, Arthur Tyrrell from Grove in Oxfordshire, John Coleman from Gainsborough in Lincolnshire, Tom Hall from Haley in Oxfordshire, Gwen Mann from Dunfermline in Fife, and Joyce Saunders from Goldston in Norfolk are all here to play 15 to 1. Introduced by William B. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Our previous winner is Jonathan Coles from Islington in London. Welcome back, Jonathan. There's the finals board and our old friend Clifford Lawton still hanging on. Let's make a start. Two questions each in the first round, one correct answer from you to survive, and we start with Norma Holt from Alteringham in Cheshire. Norma, where in the last 20 years have the signatures J.B. Page, DHF Somerset and G.M. Gill been seen in everyday use? On Bank of England notes. Yes, Chief Cashiers to the Bank of England. Robin, who's the senior figure in the Roman Catholic Church in England and Wales? Cardinal Hume. Otalgia is the medical name for what pain, Brian? No, no. Earache. Ralph, please. In which racket sport is the net five feet high at the centre? Badminton. Martin, who is the main presenter on News at 10 on ITV? Trevor MacDonald. Jonathan, sport, tennis. Since the Second World War, only three British women have won the ladies' singles title at Wimbledon. Virginia Wade in 1977. One of the other two, please. Anne Jones. And Angela Mortimer, yep. Sev, three countries joined the European Union on the 1st of January 1995, bringing the total to 15. Two of those three countries, please. Denmark. No. Sweden, Austria and Finland. Trevor. Currency. In Portugal, 100 centavos equal one what? A scudo. Julie, please. Two South American countries are landlocked. The name of either, please. Chile. Bolivia and Paraguay. Graham, which of the 15 ITV regional companies is named after two rivers in the region? Twenties. Arthur, please. What name is given to the belief that it is impossible to know if God exists or not? Existentialism. Agnosticism. Don, the name, please, of the gypsy girl who befriended the hunchback of Notre Dame. Forgotten. Esmeralda. Tom, the faces of a cube are square. What shape are the faces of a cuboid? Triangular. Rectangular like a shoebox. Gwen, please. Who is the present Secretary of State for Health? Virginia Bottomley. Joyce, the famous 19th century Siamese twins, Chang and Eng. What's the meaning of the words Chang and Eng? I don't know. Left and right. Norma, your second question. Who was the first child born to a reigning British monarch this century? Prince, George, And sorry. Prince Andrew. Robin, pedagogy, pedagogy is the principal's practice or profession of what? Teaching. Brian, the messenger of the gods. In Roman mythology, he is Mercury. Who is his Greek counterpart? Pan. Hermes. Ralph, which town in Gloucestershire was after London the largest town in Roman Britain? Bristol. Sirencester. Martin, the Society of Jesus, members of which are called Jesuits, was founded by which saint? Ignatius Loyola. Jonathan, what generally would interest a bibliophile? Books. Sev, please. Technology. In the USA, it is 525 lines. In Europe, the standard is 625 lines. Standards of what? TV. Yes, TV transmission. TV transmission. Trevor? In international sailing contests, which letter identifies a British boat? GB. Uh, K. Okay. Julie, medicine. If a compound on medicine is said to be analgesic, what effect does it have? It's a painkiller. It is a painkiller. Graham, what does the musical instruction rallentando mean? Rallentando. 
tempo faster. It means slowing down. Arthur, media, what is the BSC? Broadcasting Standards Commission. Well, no, it isn't. It's, there, are, there are different things. It's the Broadcasting Standards Council. Don, they lie approximately 23 and a half degrees north and south of the equator. What do? Tropics. <coughs> of what? Of Capricorn and Cancer. Yes, Don. Tom, botany. The drug digitalis, used as a heart stimulant, comes from a plant with a Latin name digitalis. What's its common name? Foxglove. Gwen, what presently are the three rates of income tax in the United Kingdom? 17% and... 20, 25 and 40. Joyce, languages. The Romance languages, including French, Spanish and Italian, have a common root. What is that root? Latin. It is. <laughs> and it's two down, 13 to go. Laura? And they are Brian Kenyon and Arthur Tyrrell. And to the remaining 13 contestants, three still have their three lives intact. <laughs> this is for you, Norma, a correct answer, and we can start nominating. Britain's First was opened in London on the 17th of March, 1921, and run by Dr Mari Stopes. What was? Birth Control Clinic. A number, please. Number seven. Sev. The Bible, the New Testament, Matthew chapter 4. Of the twelve apostles, which two brothers were the first to be called? Um, Andrew and Peter. Yes, Andrew and Simon, who became Peter. A number, please, sir? Uh, Thirteen, please. Shakespeare, Tom. In The Merchant of Venice, Shylock's fortune is divided between Antonio and the state. What does Antonio do with his share? No idea. He gives it back to Shylock. Again, please. Another number? One. Proverbs, Norma. Keep a thing for seven years and what? And you'll have it for the rest of your life. You'll always find a use for it. Again, please. Two, please. Food and drink, Robin. Which popular Malaysian dish consists of small chunks of meat grilled on a skewer and dipped in sauce? Satay. A number, please. Number 14, please. Scotland, Gwen. Specifically, please, what in Scotland are Caron Valley, Megat and Loch Braden? Caron Valley. They're three of the largest reservoirs in Scotland. Again, please. Number 15, please. Joyce, John Wilkes Booth, the man who shot Abraham Lincoln, had a famous brother. Who was he? Uh, General Booth, who was a savage um... Edwin Booth, a famous actor. Oh. <laughs> Again, please. <laughs> Number 13, please. Medicine, please, Tom. A person with plumbism is suffering from what? No. Lead poisoning. Again, please, Robin. Number 12, please. Don, what is the mock court case debated by law students in England as a training exercise called? No idea. It's called a moot court. Again, please, Robin. Number 10, please. Dance, Graham. The name, please, of the 19th century bohemian dance with three steps and a hop in fast double time. Tango. The polka. <laughs> Again, please, Robin. Number nine, please. Uh, Julie, what name is given to the light-sensitive membrane which lines the interior of the eye? The retina. A number, please. Uh, number two, please. Robin, which model of motor car manufactured by Fiat is also the Italian word meaning point? Punto. A number, please. Number eight, please. Trevor, Manuel Belgrano, who died in 1820, was a military leader in which country's war for independence from Spain? Argentina. A number, please. Number 12. Films, please, Don. Which Emily Bronte character has been played in films by Laurence Olivier, Timothy Dalton and Rafe Fiennes? Heathcliff. A number, please. <coughs> Five. Awards, literary awards, please, Martin. Which British playwright won in March 1995 the David Cohen British Literature Prize in recognition of his life's work? Harold Pinder. Yes, indeed. A number, please. Um, 14. Gwen, what is the lowest commissioned rank in the Royal Air Force? Uh, flight officer. Pilot officer. Again, please, Martin. Number 12. Don, the name, please, of the principal alkaloid stimulant found in tea leaves or coffee? Uh, caffeine. A number, please. 
Six. Television. Jonathan, what is the name of the police station in the television series The Bill? Sun Hill. A number, please. Fifteen. What does it mean, Joyce, if a creature is described as being omnivorous? You eat anything. Yes. Plants and meat and everything. A number, please. Um, three. Food? No. Five, please. Martin, what name is given to the coloured, perfumed outer rind of an orange, lemon or other citrus fruit used to flavour food? Zest. A number, please. Uh, Fifteen. Greek mythology. Joyce, which king of Cyprus made an ivory statue of a woman so beautiful that he fell in love with it? Pygmalion. A number, please. Two. Robin, which British city was known as Lindum by the Romans? St Albans. Lincoln. Again, please, Joyce. Um, number six, please. Jonathan. What name was given to soldiers who moved on horseback but fought on foot, the name being derived from their weapon, a musket, which breathed fire like a mythical creature? Fusiliers. Dragoons. Again, please, Joyce. Number five, please. Travel, please, Martin. What term is used to describe a travel agency that specialises in cheap airfares? Bucket shop. A number, Martin? Twelve. Uh, Don. Richard Newson, Elizabeth Jane Newson, and Susan Henchard Newson are all connected with the life of Michael Henchard in which Thomas Hardy novel? Stumped. The Mayor of Casterbridge. Thank you. Again, please. Number one. Norma, for what is an Aldis lamp used? A L D I S. In a mine. Signalling in Morse code. Again, please. Number ten. Graham. Television, the detectives, Bobby Simone, Andy Sipowitz, and James Martinez appear in which American police drama on Channel 4? NYPD Blue. A number, please. Two. Uh, Robin, what name is both a port on the Mississippi River and the largest city in Tennessee and a city in ancient Egypt on the west bank of the Nile? Alexandria. Memphis. Graham, please. Number four. Ralph. Which Shakespeare comedy begins 23 years after a storm at sea had parted a merchant and his wife, each with one twin son and an attendant also a twin? The Tempest. The Comedy of Errors. Again, please, Graham. Eight. The 20th century history, Trevor. What name was given to the group of politicians and journalists who in the 1930s gathered at the Buckinghamshire home of Lord and Lady Astor? So I don't know. The Cliveden set. Again, please. Four. Ralph, television. Which company holds the franchise for the ITV breakfast service? TVAM. GMTV Limited. Again, please. Fifteen. Joyce, the USA. Which city is the county seat of Clark County, Nevada? I don't know. Las Vegas. Again, please, Graham. Number two. Robin. To whom is the proverb, salt, water and absence, wash away love, attributed? Lot. Lord Nelson. Again, please. Nine. Julie, please. BBC Three Counties Radio. Bedfordshire, which other two counties? Hertfordshire. And? and Middlesex. Berkshire. Again, please, Graham. Seven. Seb. From the Greek for to give what is due, what is the name of the Greek goddess of retribution? No, I don't know. Nemesis. Again, please. Eight. Uh, Trevor, the name, please, of the Spanish surrealist painter who is credited with saying, geniuses don't die, I'm going to live forever. Picasso. Salvador Dali. Again, please, Graham. Nine. Julie, the line of succession to the throne. Which brother and sister, placed at positions 9 and 10 in line of succession, are the first two people not to have titles? Oh, Peter and Zara Phillips. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A number, please. Um, number six, please. Jonathan, in which Middle East country would you find a daily national newspaper called Babel? Iraq. Yes, Jonathan. A number, please? Uh, ten, please. Graham, United States authorities described him as, quote, the most wanted computer hacker in the world. He was arrested in February of this year. His name, please? I don't 
don't know. So. Kevin Mitnick. Again, please, Jonathan. Nine, please. Julie. The name, please, of King Charles I's nephew, who was the talented cavalry commander on the Royalist side during the Civil War. King Charles II. <laughs> Prince Rupert. <laughs> it is 12 down, three to go, and after the break, Martin Hopkins from Newcastle-upon-Tyne, Jonathan Coles from Islington in London, and Seb Lefkovich from Arundel in West Sussex will be here for the final. Do please try and join us. <laughs> The three surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Martin Hopkins, a teacher from Newcastle upon Tyne. He is head of education at an independent special school and one of his interests is reading. He also likes music and he plays bass guitar in a local group that plays in pubs and clubs around Newcastle. Jonathan Coles, a business analyst from Islington in London. He works for a company called Bull Information Systems, which provides software to local government housing departments. In his spare time, he enjoys football, badminton and cycling, and a couple of years ago, he cycled across Spain. And Sev Levkovich, a musician from Arundel in West Sussex. He is a singer, songwriter and keyboard player, and used to play in the group Mungo Jerry. Most of his time is taken up with his music, but he does also enjoy sailing. Thank you. Welcome back. Martin, Jonathan, Sev, put your fingers on the buzzers and we'll make a start. First to buzz gets a chance to answer. First of you with three correct answers, then opens the game up. And after that, it's question or nominate. Before we start, there's a look at the finals board and a reminder of your three targets. Of course, a winning score above 142 would give one of you a place on the finals board. A winning score of around 180 or 190 might give one of you a place in the grand final. And still at the top, Christopher Cook's score of 292, your target if you're interested in our top of the finals board trophy. If you're happy with all of that, here we go. What name is given to the chief investigating branch of the United States Department of Justice? Jonathan? CIA. The FBI. Which British film was nominated for the Oscar for Best Film this year? Jonathan? Madness of King George. Four Weddings and a Funeral. Who wrote the play The Madness of George III? Sev? Alan Bennett. You did? What word links a harbour breakwater, a small burrowing animal and a spy? Martin? Mole. Which English county lies between Norfolk in the north and Essex in the south? Jonathan? Suffolk. At which castle in Kent did Harold Nicholson and Vita Sackville West create a famous garden? Sev? Leeds Castle. Sissinghurst. Which British government department's responsibilities include the police, immigration and prisons? Jonathan? Home office. Which play by George Bernard Shaw is set in Egypt in the year 48 BC? <laughs> Caesar and Cleopatra. What is the English name for this European... Jonathan? Prague. It is. Three correct answers. The choice is yours. Question or nominate? Martin, please. Martin. Which well-known red wine produced in the Tuscany region of Italy is traditionally sold in bottles in a woven straw covering? Chianti. Question or nominate? Um, <clears throat> Sev, please. Sev, musically and otherwise, what is the opposite of crescendo? Diminuendo. Question or nominate? Uh, question, please. In which city are the headquarters of Anglia Television? Norwich. Question or nominate? Question. Which 20th century emperor included amongst his titles that of Lion of Judah? Haile Selassie. Question or nominate? Question. The name, please, of the national commercial speech-based radio service which started broadcasting on February 14th of this year? Talk Radio UK. Question or nominate? Question. Television. Which programme is on BBC One from 6am to 7am, Monday to Friday, immediately prior to breakfast news? Farming today. Business breakfast. Fingers back on the buzzers, please. Which eponymous character in a drama in blank verse and prose by Christopher Marlowe makes a pact to surrender his soul? Jonathan? Dr Faustus. Question or nominate? <clears throat> Sev, please. Sev. King Albert II, king of which European country? Monaco. Belgium. <laughs> Jonathan? 
Jonathan, I'm back with you. Question or nominate? Martin, please. Martin, the name, please, of the missionary who established a hospital and leper colony in Lamborghini in what is now the African state of Gabon. Sorry, I don't know. Albert Schweitzer. Jonathan again, please. And Martin again, please. Martin, music. What name is given to the ability possessed by some people to identify and reproduce a note without reference to a tuned musical instrument? Perfect pitch. Question or nominate? Jonathan, please. Languages. From which ancient literary Indian language do the words cheetah, sapphire and sugar ultimately derive? Sanskrit. Yes. Question or nominate? Nominate, please. Martin. Songs from the American Civil War. So we sang the chorus from Atlanta to the sea as we were marching through where? Georgia. Question or nominate? Nominate. Jonathan. Lyndon Johnson became US President in the year that Alec Douglas Hume became Prime Minister in the UK. Which year in the 1960s? 63. Question or nominate? Nominate, please. Which well-known town is situated geographically almost in the centre of mainland Australia? Alice Springs. Question or nominate? Nominate. Jonathan. What specific effect on plants does a herbicide known as a defoliant have? It destroys the leaves. Question or nominate? Martin, please. Who is the most famous creation of the writer Sue Townsend? Adrian Mole. Question or nominate? Nominate. The orchestra. Which percussion instrument usually consists of 18 pieces of hollow metal tuned to different pitches, hung on a frame, the metal being struck by a mallet? A xylophone. Tubular bells. <laughs> Martin. You have 63 points, two lives intact, and there are 14 questions left. Some way to go, but let's see if those two lives can find you a place on the finals board. Phobias. Musophobia. M-U-S-O. Musophobia. Is an irrational or obsessive fear of which small creatures? Mice. The seaside town of Westwood Ho, Buckfast Abbey and Newton Abbott Racecourse. Which county are they in? Cornwall. Devon. Italy. Which famous family founded the art collection now held in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence? Uh, Medici. Yes, or Medici, whichever you like. The name, please, given to the barbaric formal naval punishment in which someone was dragged through the water under a ship from one side to the other. Keel hauling. Which actress, whose Hollywood career lasted only five years, starred in High Noon, Rear Window and To Catch a Thief? No, sorry, no. Grace Kelly. <laughs> well, your 93 points, Martin, won't find you a place on the finals board. That score of 142 is proving very tricky. But nonetheless, if you'd like to come and go through all this again sometime in the autumn, we'd like to have you with us. Well done. Thank you. <laughs>